The pre-pottery Neolithic period in West Iran, spanning approximately 10,000 to 7,000 BC, marks a transformative era in human prehistory. This period was characterized by the transition from mobile hunter-gatherer lifestyles to settled farming communities. Evidence from sites such as Ganjdare and Teep Asia demonstrates early experiments with animal domestication, particularly goats, and the cultivation of cereals like barley and wheat. Small, permanent or semi-permanent villages began to emerge in the Zagros Mountains and adjacent plains. Early domestication of goats is well documented, with evidence of selective breeding at Ganjdare. The development of surplus food likely supported more complex social structures including proto-chiefdoms. The sample we are going to talk about in this video comes from Luriston and dates to 68 centuries BCE. Cupidium analysis suggests this individual descends mainly from Iranian Neolithic farmers. The population he represented was likely one of the foundational components of later Elamites. He carried Y lineage J2, which is commonly found in Iran nowadays. He is predicted to have had dark brown eyes, black hair, either light brown or dark brown skin, wavy hair texture, and a Greek nose shape. Regarding his dopaminergic profile, he was a warrior and had higher D2 receptor availability. He is predicted to have had average odds of autism, lower levels of empathy, intermediate odds of obesity, and blood type O. He had high odds of rheumatoid arthritis, myopia, primary biliary cirrhosis, atrial fibrillation, prostate cancer, and glioma. He carried rare risk variants for Parkinson's, amelial hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, and irritable bowel syndrome. He had low odds for erythema nodosum, hemoglobin E disease, migraine, gout, eczema, exfoliation glaucoma, corneal astigmatism, stroke, type 2 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, polycythemia vera, testicular cancer, and allergies. You can download his raw DNA file, as well as my trait predictor tool from the link in description.